I think it's wonderful because whatever side, and you don't have to be on the side of Occupy to be here tonight and have a good time, I can tell you that not all the comedians here are in total agreement with Occupy. Uh, but it's got us all talking, and it's got us actually looking at whatever you think the solution is, looking at some very real problems, so it's awesome. I do have one message for all of you and, and for the Occupy people. The same thing that I want to use this forum to say tonight is that we cannot affect change. We can't actually, it's fun, and I like, like I said, I like the discourse, but we can't change anything. As people, we don't have the power. Uh, they have too much money, and they have too much power. No matter what we do, black people are never going to get the vote in this country. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Women are not going to get the vote. Just give up on that. And Social Security, get out of here. You're dreaming. Uh, one guy even told me that he thought that someday gays would be able to serve openly in the military. <laughs> oh, that's fucking crazy. What's next? You're going to tell me that Coca-Cola is going to switch back to their classic recipe? No, new Coke is here to stay. We have no power. We cannot affect change. Thank you guys so much. I'm Pete Colesanson. And this is a special free night of Comedy Night at Luna. It's called Occupy Comedy. Uh, I, I thank you so much to all the comedians that, that came to do this. None of them are getting paid. They're all here uh, just to entertain you. I realize some of you guys might be offended. You guys might not be that liberal. So uh, I'm going to go on your side for a minute and uh, fuck those less fortunate than us. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I'm actually a libertarian, so that's actually my key point. <laughs> hero at 18 going to fight for freedom over on the other side of the world, but when you come back a 23-year-old war veteran, you're a dirty hippie looking for a free handout? How the fuck does that work, Sean Hannity? It's like my new goal in life is just out of this, I'm going to start taking better care of myself real soon, just so I can outlive Sean Hannity and fucking piss on his grave. So, uh, Jew... A uh, black guy and uh, two Chinese fellas walk into a bar. But nothing funny happens because this is America. It happens every day. It wasn't even weird. <laughs> <laughs> have any of these friends I um I once found the technical term for it um but I lost it and then I tried to look it up near as I could find where television tropes have born in the wrong century and disco dan these are people who believe that they were born in the wrong era I'm only 25 I've been through cancer and divorce and alcoholism and depression and I'm just thinking that if I were like 35 that would make sense. <laughs> I don't have anything political to say. Kind of uh, politically agnostic. Because I'm white and I don't, you know. The world's been good to me. Sorry. Yeah. I do uh, support the Occupy movement. Um, I've gone down to the Occupy Sacramento and uh, I've run into some people um, that I'm not real pleased are, are people that are supporting the Occupy Sacramento movement. And I was talking to a dude uh, at Occupy Sac, and uh, I, I just started asking some questions. And I said, uh, hey bro, do you know why you're here? And his response was, cuz, dude. That was his response. <laughs> and I said, uh, you know what my problem is with this movement? And he said, what, bro? What's your problem? And I said, um, that 99% of our 99% are 100% retarded. That's, that is my problem. In my neighborhood the other day, uh, I saw that somebody had posted up a sign, and somebody else had written on that sign, like in graffiti. They had written, fuck that shit. And I could understand if the sign had been political or religious, you know, something like that. 
But all the signs said to offend that person so badly was garage sale. <laughs> I think that's why they're there. I think they want food, a place to live, and uh, not a job, but still. They want this. I don't, I don't want a job. Do you want a job? No, I want a job. Uh, I'm a busboy and a waiter at two different restaurants. I work two jobs. And um, these people came in with tea party t-shirts, which to me, just wearing a t-shirt says, I don't give a fuck about you or any of you. And it, it would have made me mad anyway, but what made me super mad was that at that moment, the health inspector was at the restroom. And I actually said to them, hey, the health inspector's here. We gotta get rid of those people. Thinking that that might sink in their brain, like, no, health inspectors are good. That's a good thing. But they didn't, they were like, yeah. You gotta get government out of our lives. It's like, what? Do you want me to shit in your food? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Because I would. But the health inspector's here. I think the point is, I think the theme of my, my set here was teamwork. If you come away with something, where are my socialists at? <laughs> yeah. You wait to see if you can make it by the country. Thank you very much. And seriously, stop rooting for your political parties as if they're an NFL team. Okay? Go red and go blue, it doesn't fucking work! Alright, look, the donkeys and the elephants both suck. They're way over salary cap, spent way too much on a defense, it's always gonna have holes. And we don't need a new head coach, we don't need a new quarterback. We need to start playing like a team. Go 99ers! Woo. Ideas will never die. Oh my god. And they're contagious.